Hi guys, it's Monica, and look who's with me. Hi everybody, Marlene from Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio. And look where I am, I'm in Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio. Yeah. So Jay and I came down for a trip to Florida. We're actually here on a two week trip that we're doing all sorts of wonderful stuff, and Marlene and I have been playing with hair and a little bit of makeup. Mm -hmm. So we just recorded a video for her channel. If you're here from her channel watching that video we did a little bit ago, thank you and please consider subscribing and hanging around. And if you haven't yet seen that video, I will link all the details below. Head on over to Marlene's Chat Studio. What is the actual name? Marlene's Wig and Chat, Wig and Chat yeah. Studio. And for those of you that know Marlene from the beauty world, yes, it is Marlene Fabin Glam over mm -hmm. 50. Yeah, it should be over 60, but we're going to leave it over 50 for now. So what we're going to do, I'm going to turn it over to Marlene, actually. She's going to select a couple of wigs, and we thought we would show them on, on what they look like on, on me, and then also what the same wig would look, on, look like on you. We have very different face shapes and very different skin color tone, so mm -hmm. I think it'll be really interesting to I, be able to see. I, I, yeah, it will. And we chose five other wigs or six other wigs that are different than the ones that if you are watching my video or my, if you are watching the video on my channel, which we show different wigs. So now we have some other wigs here as, um, that we're going to show you. And I'll tell you, she has really pushed me out of my comfort zone. <laughs> there have been some, uh, if you haven't watched her video, you've got to go over and you've got to check them out because I actually, and those of you that follow me, you know that I don't do gray. Yeah, I'm not going to give it away, but you've got to go check out that video. So what are we doing here? Okay, so you're going to start out with this one. This one is a brand new from Gabor. This is Trend Alert. And this has the heat, same heat-friendly fibers that you find on the Raquel Welch, and the colors are comparable. This Trend Alert is an iced uh, coffee, iced coffee latte, which is just a little bit darker than shaded cappuccino. If you are familiar with the Raquel Welch colors, you will be familiar with this one. They're exactly the same, if I could get it out of here. I am really looking forward to trying on the Nuka boards because I don't have any of the brand new styles like oh, this. And, okay. Oh, my gosh. I think you'll like this one. This, I think this is right up your alley. Right up my alley. Okay. And no, we did not practice. We didn't, uh, we didn't try these on first. This is a total first impression. I have, but Monty hasn't. Definitely first impression. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? You know what? This does. Let me look in the mirror for a second. This does remind me very much of, um, is it Flirt Alert that I'm thinking of? Do you remember Raquel Welch Flirt Alert? I, I never had Flirt Alert. No, I've it's never had It's kind of reminding me of Raquel Welch's Flirt yeah. Alert, but this is a color, obviously, that what do you think? I think it, yeah, it's, it's really beautiful on you. I love the color it's only the base on this color is a nine while the base on shaded cappuccino is a 12. so we have a little bit darker base here this is a cool color any of the iced color from raquel welch are cool colors and the highlights are very close as well that looks really pretty it does remind me of Florida alert somehow the side yeah, you have, are yeah yeah i you, have two Florida alerts at oh. home Okay. So, it does. What do you think of this, guys? This is really pretty. What are you going to put on? I'm going to put ooh, on ooh. Ahead of the Curve. This is was originally in a brick and mortar store in, for like the last three or four years. And it's um, now being released to the online retailers. This one is in Shaded Spice. These are traditional these are traditional fibers. These are not the heat friendly fibers that we find on most Raquel Welch. So you're not going to need to apply any heat on it or anything like that. This is a very spicy color. Oh, I like that on you. It's cute. I have a left part. I think that looks nice. Uh -huh. I like the I like the cut. I like the yeah. angle. I like the angle bobs. I, I, really I do. do too. I think it looks nice and it has a really beautiful lace front. It does. How is the density? 
I think the fun. density is light density, and we do, we have minimal or no permit, very minimal permatease here. Um, probably a little bit higher density right here around the crown, just to give it that little bit of a lift. But we don't. But it's not with the. I don't feel that it's not a little bit of permatease, but it's really nothing to speak of. If you're not a permatease fan, I think that and you like the style, I think that you would be happy with it really nice. Are you ready Shall to switch? switch? Yes. We'll switch. We will switch and you'll see what this looks like on Marlene. Moni has a, a nine inch face from hairline to chin and my face is seven and three quarters. I think my neck may be a little bit longer than Moni's but um and her circumference is larger than mine. Moni has a 22 inch circumference and I have a 21 and a half inch circumference. Definitely um, outside my, my comfort zone. That there. is definitely outside your comfort zone. However, <laughs> feeling pretty sassy. I think it looks very sassy on you. Yeah, the whole, I, I think it's so important sometimes to just, if you have the ability to try on some wigs, try on different colors. That looks really pretty on you. I don't know why you don't wear red. I like that on you. I have always wanted to do reds and I think it's, it's, you know, Jay just like, nah, I don't want you red. You know, I don't want you to, but I've always, like, I remember when I would have my bio hair dyed at times, I, I would say when I'd go to the hairdresser, I'm going to come back as a redhead. And Jay would go, no. <laughs> but, yeah, this is kind of really sassy. It is sassy. You're going to see the yeah. angle. Really nice I love angle. the angles. When you have this kind of, like, trendy angle. Yeah, and back. it's a little bit a kind of uh, feathery on the back. And it doesn't feel, it I, it doesn't feel like super high density to mm -hmm. me at no. all. No, not at all. You know, and I think Raquel Welch has a reputation of high density wigs, mm -hmm. and um, I think this no, this feels really good. Let's see how it looks on. I think it looks really awesome. I think it looks really nice on you. Really Yours nice. looks really good too. Yeah, I I think this style is so cute. If you like unfiltered. From Raquel Welch, if you like Stella from Ellen Villa, this is right along the same lines. Or Flirt Alert. Or mm. uh, Right. I don't have Flirt Alert, but Monty was telling me that it does remind her of Flirt Alert. So there you have it. When I had my unfiltered, it felt longer than that um, than that one. So, mm -hmm. But my, my Flirt Alert is about that length. Mm. And yeah. it's almost... Uh, same type of, you know, the way the sides are curled and all that. So. I, I think they did such a great job. Uh, as many of you may know, Gabor and and uh, Raquel Welch fall under the same parent company of Hair You Wear. And the designer for these Gabors has always been on the Raquel, on working on the Raquel Welch. And Frank just started working on, the, on this new designer series. And I think he did an amazing job with them. Really beautiful. You look beautiful. What's next? Okay, let's go. And you, I know. I'm let's so try this. Fun. You haven't had, have you tried a Tress Allure? Have mm. you had this? No. Oh, you got to try Tress Allure. This is one of my favorites. That's Charlie. And I'm I'm having her put on another gray wig. That is, uh. Oh, is this a, a gray one? Yeah, that's dark smoke gray. We'll see. I'm going to keep a smile on my face. <laughs> the last one surprised me. That really did, the one I had put on. All righty. Gray. That is a beautiful wig. So, <laughs> we'll see what you think. Tressel, I, I love Tressalure fibers. What? It's pretty. Oh my gosh. You don't like it? No, I do. Uh, Oh, I was gonna say. I do. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like shocking myself again. Fix me up pretty. I'll fix you up pretty. Again, this is Charlie and dark. Let me see. I think it's dark smoke gray. Yeah, dark smoke gray. Wow. So if we have a darker root, and then we have that blend, almost like a cool brown, with um with the silver and a little bit of white. So we have a really dimensional color. And Charlie has a little bit of a slant, a little bit shorter in the back. Really pretty bob. You like it, huh? I like it on you. Wow. 
I like it on me too. I like it on you. I think it looks really, really <laughs> pretty. I'm like amazed. I can't, it's like really, I said I would never, ever put on a gray wig. And That's what she said. And now I have two of them on my head. I know. Now you want to two. If you want to see her with the other one, head on over to my channel. Definitely head on over because <laughs> it, 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 you'll see I was really shocked. So this is my very second one. I think I like this one better. I think I like this one better on you because the other one was in Chromar T1B from Aesthetica and it has a much darker root and it has a dark, it has that 1B which is a black and this one is a little softer. Yeah. I like that one. I like this one better. I also like the way the fibers are better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it may not be, well it feels pretty low density to me. Yeah, it is. Dress Allure has beautiful, beautiful fibers. And what are you putting on? I am putting on Avery by uh, oh, Henry Avery. Margot in the color 626H. Henry Margot has incredible fibers, incredible lace fronts. I think this one made one of my uh, top favorites of the year. It's easy. If you like Candice from Henry Margot, Avery is the shorter version of Candace. Now, I have Avery, and I can't remember the shade, but it's a very, very blonde shade. And for those of you that have watched that review, you know that I love that wig. And I have said forever I'd like to get it in a bit darker. This is, of course, much darker, but I'm really curious to try this one yeah. on. Okay. Ready to switch? Ready to switch. Okay. The cap is lifting again. This Charlie has a full mono top. Oh, it does? Yeah. I didn't really look at the so, inside. Yeah, so you could, and your your um, permatease is minimal. The density is perfect density. So now you could see what this color looks on a darker skin tone, because mine is a medium tan skin tone, while Moni has a, fairer, a much fairer skin tone than I do. I cannot tell you guys how much fun I'm having. Marlene has been an awesome host. We've been here, oh, I think, was it been two days now? Mm -hmm. Three days? We've gone all over the place. Oh, wow. You like it? I do. Is I it do. too? Do you feel it's too dark for you? Uh, for, if I were to wear every day, yeah. I, I, yeah, for me, it would be a little bit too dark, but to, um, you know, to wear on a special occasion or just to have a, to mix it up, I would wear this in a heartbeat. I actually pretty. like it very much. I like, I think what I really like about the shade is that there are the, the blonder, the lighter. I don't think I would like the shade if it was just a solid color. Oh, uh, right. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want it a, as a solid color either. Now, let me ask you something. Do you feel your skin tone is a cool skin tone? Do you have pink in your skin? I've often thought my skin tone was cool. Yeah, I know? think so too. Um, so that's another difference that we have. Mine is a little bit warmer, more olive, and, and Monica's is cooler. So that way you could really see how the different colors look on us. Cool. That looks beautiful on you, though. Thank you. I love this wig. Absolutely love this wig. It really looks beautiful. I, I, I think it is such a pretty, pretty easy style to wear. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. Can you do a little bit? Look at the back. Yeah, that's perfect. That looks absolutely beautiful on you. This. I I just think Avery is easy to wear. And um, I think so too. You know, I mean, you want to talk about low density, no permatease, it's Avery. And for some people, she might fall um, a little on the flatter side. You know, mm -hmm. for me, because when I first took yeah. my every out of the box, I said, I've got to rough it up. But I am more of that type of a person. I would spray something. I would texturize it up a little bit because I don't want something to fall sleek and flat mm -hmm. on my face. I need to have a little bit of dimension. So, what's All next? Right. Have you tried Envy, Envy wigs before? I have tried an Envy wig before. I just don't remember which Envy wig I've had. But well, I have. Here's one. This is Amber I and Medium Brown. I really like Amber. This is Medium Brown? Yeah, that's Medium Brown. Holy it, moly. It, it has a really nice blend okay. of, of a bit of a lighter 
uh, brown and a darker brown. Is this a, a tighter fit, a smaller fit? No, maybe I had it cinched in too much. Maybe that was it. It looks really pretty. Does it? Yes. Uh, Amber is very, a very casual style. It, it has, you have lots of layers, lots of face framing layers, minimal permatees, light density. I can see my wood cap slipped again. And so my bio bangs, my widow's peak is sticking out a little bit. But I would say, just based on what I'm seeing in the mirror, that I really, I like this cut. I like the... I like the fibers, even though it's a dark. I don't think it looks too dark for me, do no, you think? No, no. So another out of my comfort zone. There you go. Browns. Ooh la la. Totally loving it. Oh, what's that? Looks curly. <laughs> it is curly. Oh, she's I, putting I, on I, curls. I, I'm going to, I'm, 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 I'm just taking out styles that I know that she normally wouldn't have worn. Uh, this is Girl Mono. No, is this? Yes. This, no, actually this is. Onda, and you know this color, this is not multi-shaded. See what she thinks about that one. <laughs> now wait, we got we gotta play with it. Usually when we take a wig right out of the box, it may not be perfect. So spray some water, wake up those fibers, separate those, separate those fibers. And I'm usually pretty good at saying that, you know, like when you put a wig on your head after you take it, you first get it, it's like a shock. Sometimes you feel like you're wearing a clown hat or whatever because the right. fibers, and sometimes they just have what we call box hair, you know, when right. they've been sitting in the box too long and it just doesn't look good. But um, for sure, a, uh, a curly look. But what do you guys think? What color is this? That's not multi-shaded. So you see the difference amber, between medium brown. No, this is amber. Oh, this is onda, onda, and not multi shaded. The same color as your Ava. Oh, okay, okay. Except with Ellen Villa, the Ellen Villa, as many of you know, is a German des uh, designer, and she will take the same color on different styles. And the placement of the color or maybe the tone will be a little bit different from one style to another. So this probably looks a little bit different on you than your Ava as far as the color. It appears to have a little bit more of the blonde in it, a little bit more of the auburn in it. Mm -hmm. And it's because it's a different style. And it's got a lot of curls. Yeah. And you know what? It To me... Even though it's got a lot of curls, I, I think it still look, it looks very pretty. I would wear this. I would, um, you know, I would definitely wear this. I don't think that it looks overdone or over curly. Mm. It's just I'm more used to straighter, a straighter mm. look. Mm -hmm. But I think it looks great. I think it looks really pretty on you. Yeah. yeah. It looks really pretty on you. Oh, thank you. I love Amber. I think, and you know, the nice thing with Amber too, if you like to wear bangs, you can certainly add some bangs. Are you a bang girl? No. I mean, I, I like to have them face framing a little bit coming mm -hmm. down, but typically I'm more off of my forehead. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm more off of my forehead too. I've got a couple of wigs that I like that have bangs, but for the most part, I prefer off my face. But if you like to have bangs and you like a a style that is kind of um, flippy around, very casual look. And this one is perfect because you could just add the bangs to it. Yeah, that does look perfect. And it looks very natural. Okay, you want to do one more? One more and then we'll be done. Yeah, that sounds good to me. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. And, and like we said before, you haven't, if you haven't already seen the very first one we did, you've got to go over to Marlene's channel. Everything will be linked below as well as the names of the wigs that we have on. And of course, all of them can be purchased at Wig Studio One. So you can head on over there and you can check them out. You can check all the different colors. And um, I'll give a little plug for the Facebook page. Yes. So Marlene has, Marlene and I go way back, right? We go, I don't even know how we first found each other, but I think we've been 
online friends for like six years, seven yeah. years. Yeah. And then we met up a couple of years ago, real life, and, in real time, and, and uh, with Sheila. Yeah. In Myrtle Beach, and we had a blast. So, anyways, um, Marlene has, whoops, what was I? No, 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 you go oh, ahead. okay. Uh, sorry. Now I totally forgot what I was saying. We were in Myrtle Beach. Oh, we had a meetup with Sheila in Myrtle Beach, and we have just connected, even though, you know, we, we've known each other for a real long time, and at the very beginning, when we first started to do wig reviews, Marlene started to put some on her channel, then she did the second channel, but she ended up going to work, or did you volunteer in the beginning? can't remember yeah, how that yeah, happened, yeah. but she ended up going to work for Wig Studio One, and she managed their Facebook page, and at the time, correct me if I'm wrong, it was quite small. I think were you like maybe three? we were seven thousand. 7, we had about seven thousand members. Yeah, and it was uh, it, it has grown incredibly since she has taken over that page. And not only has it grown, it is it's a safe place, and that's what I always say. If you want to go to a group that is safe, where you can talk about your hair and your issues and all of that stuff that centers around how you feel about yourself when you lose hair, et cetera, that is to me. A, such a safe place. I have never felt when I go to that group and I ask a question or I share something, I've never felt like someone was judging me or looking down mm -hmm. on me or anything like that. Yeah. What is the, what is the membership now? Uh, we're at 24,000. 24,000. Yeah. That, that is huge. It is. It is huge. And you know something I have to say, I didn't I I forgot to say it on my on, on when we recorded for my channel. I had never worn a wig. I didn't know the difference between a Gabor and a Raquel Welch at all. And my oh. hairdresser moved away. And I said to Monty, I don't know what I'm gonna do because I dyed my hair purple. And I said, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I can't find anyone that will do my hair and my roots are down to here. Monica said, get a wig. Why don't you get a wig? And oh, my gosh, my very first wig, Scarlet. I did it. She said to me, make sure that it has a lace front. And I'm like, what the heck is a lace front? What is she talking about? It was Scarlet by John Renault and Chocolate Cherry. And after that, oh my gosh, a whole new world opened up for me. So it was Moni that got me involved in wigs. She's the one that got me started. So I knew her when. And she, she I may have gotten her started initially, but she found her passion very very quickly yeah. and she not only did she look at wigs and try wigs on for herself um, but she kept trying to educate herself and how's the best way to take care of a wig how's the best way to wear a wig how to style it what looks good on different face shapes and she just became a natural i just love them i love being able to wake up get up in the morning and say all right this is what i'm going to wear this is the wig i'm going to wear with it or how, depending on how I'm feeling or what I'm doing. If I'm going to do some running around, going to the shopping, whatever, I might wear uh, amber. But if I'm going out for a night out or something, I might wear something a little bit dressier. And I change my colors, as you can see from all of these wigs. I change my color, I change my style, I wear them long, I wear them short, it doesn't matter to me. I love my wigs. And that's why I cut my hair into a pixie and I don't I don't go to the hairdresser anymore. And it's all Monty's fault. <laughs> it's all her fault. She's I'll, I'll take the blame. I'll take the blame, but I also reap from that because she has given me so much encouragement and help and, you know, and she had wakes with me and tips with me and stuff like that. So she's my go-to guru. <laughs> you are. So what's this one? Okay, this is Nerano. This has been such a favorite of mine. I have Nerano in a couple of colors. This one is in Ch Chestnut Mix. This is by Ellen Villa. Very easy style to wear. Chestnut mix. Yeah, I think I'm almost certain that's the color. Yes, chestnut mix. This is right along the same lines as along the same as uh, Avery, maybe not as choppy. Oops. Traditional fibers. That is a really pretty color. Look how pretty they added that lighter fiber on the front. Again, my hair is hanging through. You know, what do you, you um, 
if you if you end up wearing a wig cap and you you're wearing a wig and all that, you're gonna you're gonna obviously fix your wig cap a little bit better, make sure your own hair is underneath it, etc. Right. But for what we've done, yeah, I've been taking the time to do that. This is really nice. That I'm, is I'm loving the which one is this? That is Nerano from Ellen Villa and the color chestnut mix. And I do like how a lot of the, the brands are starting to put some of the lighter fibers by your face because that, I think, is much more of a natural look, in my opinion. So, yeah. Well, I do, I too. This is yeah. nice. I'm going to put on one of my favorites to end up. This is, a, this is brand new to Aesthetica, and it's one of my, I, I have fallen in love with it. Oh, yes. You've worn that. You wore that. I have worn every day. <laughs> every day. This is Haven from Aesthetica. Brand new to Aesthetica in the color Caramel Kiss. Or, um, sea Kiss RT4. Nice. Yeah. That's beautiful. Thank you. I'm going to have to try that on. Let's switch. Let's switch. And then we'll end. And then we'll end it. <laughs> Because I'm sure it's going to be super long, but that's okay. We're having so much fun. I am having a blast. I am too. I'm I've never done this before. Well, I did it a little bit when I was out in Washington, but with the, when I was out at the Wix Studio One headquarters. Yeah. Oh, that looks really cute. It's messy. I know. I know. It's it, it's not something that you're used to, but it but looks pretty. I like it. Does this remind you of unfiltered or not? Or am uh, I? Well, the thing with unfiltered is that with unfiltered, you have more layers okay. and you also, and you have more of an angle that this is a little angle but not as much as unfiltered. And I think the curl pattern is a little bit different here. You have more of a shattered wave, whereas unfiltered, it's a little bit more structured and you have more, this is, it has some layers, but I don't feel it has as many as unfiltered. Actually, I can see why you've been wearing this because this really is nice. You know what the relaxed you know, look? Yeah. You know what it actually reminds me of? It reminds me of Mellow from Aesthetica, but a shorter oh, version. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. I forgot about Mellow. Yeah. Awesome. And that looks awesome on you. Yeah, this is Nerano. Sweet. So what do you think? Do you like any of these wigs? All of these wigs? Isn't it amazing, I think, to see what something looks like on Marlene than what it looks like on me and just the differences and you know something like when I put something on and it kind of probably looked too messy and Marlene fixed it up a little bit and then it looks completely different when you play with it right mm -hmm. yeah so awesome so we're done we're done we're done thank you all so much for watching and Marlene thank you so much for letting me try on all oh your oh my wigs. gosh like so much fun it was so much fun so much fun we're gonna jay and i are gonna be heading out um tomorrow and going on for the second part or third part of our adventure because we've been all over the place but um yeah this has just been a blast so thank you and thank you all for watching make sure you check out her channel and if you're from her channel stay around thank you so much love you all have a wonderful wonderful day